Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. It is a privilege today to get to be joined on the summit by Josh Seabolt, a senior for the Bethel Threshers. Josh, who has now been named Player of the Week in the KCAC for the third time this season alone. And it's kind of been an every other week thing for you since October's rolled around. Congratulations on that honor, Josh. First off, 14 tackles and a win over Tabor, four tackles for loss, three and a half of those sacks. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Uh, that's just an attest to our defense and uh, how well our coaches uh, watch film and uh, prepare us. Uh, so, yep. Well, hey, listen, and I appreciate the the humility there. I know your coaching staff does a great job. Coach Terry Harrison, a fantastic coach. I always get to I, I enjoy the times when I get to visit with him. He's great to get to talk to. And I want to talk about him a little bit later on. But but you right now leading the team in a number of defensive categories, which really has been your MO since you've been at Bethel so far this season, 77 tackles. That leads the team. You lead the team in some other categories as well, including sacks with 10 of those forced fumbles, two of those as well and last year you led the nation in tackles for loss with 20.5 you already have 26 of those so it's it's been a good year talk about the year so far yeah uh, we've uh as a defense come together uh and it it's not about one person it's about uh every position plays a role in this in this defense uh we're a little little different than most most defenses um so Everyone has to be on the same page. Everyone has to be uh, in the right state of mind, I suppose. Um, everyone has to do their jobs. For me to even just have an opportunity to make a tackle or a sack or a tackle for loss, um, it, it's a real attest to how we practice and uh, how um, our our uh, defense really handles themselves. And we're, we're a really tight-knit group. Um, up front, we're pretty old. And – you know, without them, honestly, none of this would be possible. So, well, Josh, I, you you talk about playing on a defense that's different, and and I wanted to uh, to mention that as well. You know, the 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 Bethel Threshers of late have been a team that is known for its offense, probably first to put points on the board. But that that triple option back there, you know, that's something that is going to be a challenge each week for opposing teams to get ready for because they don't see it all the time with an offense like that and it gets the headlines generally week in and week out what's it like to play then on the defense and say hey listen we're here too um you know we're we know our role um we love our offense uh we expect them to score and hold on to the ball um which they do very well um we when we get our shot, we want to be able to get the ball back in their hands. So that's kind of what our our defense is based around is turnovers and a lot of pressure. Um, and so far this year, we've done a really good job of that. Um, I don't know how many turnovers we have on the year, but um, I believe it's more than last year already. So um, we're kind of developing still into this defense. So um, each week we get better and better at uh, – every aspect of this defense so and that's a good thing too because the season's not over yet and and you hope it extends uh, beyond just the regular season we're speaking now with josh seabolt senior for the bethel threshers here on the summit on midwest sports net and i encourage you please do subscribe to the channel we talk about small college sports and more here on midwest sports net josh a two-time all-American and now a three-time player of the week in league play in the KCAC just this season alone and with that in mind Josh you have to think you know one time okay it's a great honor two times that that's pretty good but by the third time now do you feel like that uh the opposing teams are are they starting to double up on you a little bit they know you're there um I I have no idea honestly um I try not to worry about that kind of things um and just play you know um, I just feel like I, do, I don't need to get caught up in that and uh, just play for the guy next to me. And that's what we all, we've always preached. And uh, it's not about an individual. So um, that's, that's where I'm at mentally. So I just, I just try not to think about all that. So. Well, that's the kind of praise that your head coach gave you a few months back. I had an opportunity to visit with Coach Harrison prior to this season, and, and we were talking about you just a little bit. Some of the words he used were leader, champion, 
hard worker, tough as nails, and and he said that uh, that your attitude that you bring is something that is it's pretty much contagious that it's picked up on why everyone. Yeah, um, I don't think that necessarily just comes from just me. Um, we've we've kind of built this program uh, around being uh, tough Christian warriors, and uh, that's what it's about. Um, we don't lay on the field. Um, we strike people between whistles as hard as we can. Um, we do our jobs, and that's what we've been coached to do, and we do really well. Um, and I just think it's uh, – Becoming a leader in this program has it's, – it's taken me a while. Um, it's hard for me to be vocal with the guys because my head's always uh, focused on what's going on instead of what, what everyone else is doing. Um, and so trying to become a leader verbally is was difficult for me, and that's somewhere where I've kind of been growing. Um, but I, I, I see myself more as a – lead by example kind of guy. So um, that that's where I'm at. Well, you've done a fantastic job about talking about others throughout this entire interview. So I want to give you a chance to talk about one more person than your brother Tate who is on this team as well this year. You're a senior. He's a freshman on the squad. I like how you're number 22. He's number 23, both linebackers there. Uh, what's it like to get to play with him then? And do you have any sets in which you're both on the field at the same time? Um, man, it's it's crazy. Um, I never, never thought that this would have happened. Um, we were both uh, three sport athletes in high school. Um, we played – I believe one we won we only played one year together in most of our sports. Um and it's just crazy um how he's here and how we can grow on this campus together and through this football uh world. Um and yeah, what's funny about it is he was we were both twenty two in high school. I just I just beat him to it <laughs> when here. So um yeah, uh usually we get to play uh together late in third early fourth quarters um, when we're we're in control of the game. That's usually when we get to play together. Um, and it's it's so cool just seeing him develop into a college athlete because it is different than high school. And I've, I've tried to help him grow over the summer, his mindset to this is going to be really hard. This is going to be um, his life for – the better part of the fall and into uh, winter, and um, and it's just, it's just cool being able to share that with him, and uh, it's something special. So, well, that's that is really neat that you all do get to do that for this season, and I, I'm glad, I'm happy for you all. I think that's a, a great thing. This season then would be your last season as you're a senior as you look ahead just a little bit not past the season too much because I know there are a couple more regular season games at the very least that, that you have in front of you what are some of your goals then as, as you look ahead and get past this year um maybe someday coach um and pass on what I've been taught here um and really uh just trying to grow the game of football and wrestling um so far, that's the plans I have for now. Um, I'll go back to my hometown of Cimarron, Kansas, and uh, figure something out there. And that's about what I'll be doing afterwards. So, all right. Well, and it does need to be said too. You are a two-time state champion in wrestling as well. So, uh, a solid athlete, three-sport athlete. Josh Seabolt, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Uh, success to you for the remainder of the season. I know you have a couple more games here in the regular season on Saturday. You head to Leavenworth, and uh, you'll be taking on University of St. Mary there. And then out to Canyon, Texas, Division II opponent in West Texas A&M to close out the regular season and hopefully a, a possible berth in the playoffs for you as well. But thank you so much. Success to you and to the Threshers for the remainder of this year. God bless you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it.